Ona maisha yamekuwa magumu katika zehemu zao wamekuwa bwana wanaita jina lako na ukashuke leo ukanene na mafamilia zao ukanene na jamii zao ukanene na maisha yao bwana wacha roho mtakatifu akashuke jioni ya leo Bwana akatifirishe katika maisha yetu nguvu zako zikashuke sikatandae na kutambaa mahara hapa wakati neno rako litakalo kuja bwana wengi wakafunguliwe wengi wakakombolewe wakachibiwe kulingana na thamanio la moyo sao wakajibiwe kulingana na thamanio sao bwana jioni ya leo tunachiweka mikononi mwako chukua ushukani tena Chukua ushukani Jehova hakuna mwingine kama wewe baba natangaza ushindi jioni ya leo natangaza nguvu na uwezo jioni ya leo natangaza mamuraka zote ni zako Jehova wakati tunapoliubiri neno lako bwana likawe ni neno la sahihi likawe ni neno la ukombozi likawe ni neno la ukombozi neno la uponyaji katika jina la Yesu bwana tunasema ni asante Pokea sifa na utukufu na nguvu sote na mamuraka ni sako na hakuna mwingine atakaye kuwepo kama wewe na ni katika jina la baba la mwana na roho mtakatifu tumeomba na kuamini mtu aseme amen popote pale ulipoinua sauti yako tumwabudu bwana jioni ya leo kwa minajili tunajua nguvu zake hanaweza Tunajua kuna Mungu mwingine atakaye kuwepo kama yeye maana yeye ni Alpha and Omega. Yeye ni mwanzo tena mwisho. Yeye ndio mshindi wetu. Yeye ni mponyaji. Yeye ni maji ya uzima. Yeye ndio simba wa Yuda. Hakuna atakaye kuwepo kama yeye inua sauti yako mwabudu mwambie unastahili kuabudiwa. Unastahili kuinuliwa. Unastahili kupewa sifa Jehova. Unastahili kuabudiwa. Hakuna mwingine kama wewe nilicha ya yote ambao tunao yapitia bwana hakuna mwingine atakaye kuwepo kama wewe richa ya machanga ambao tunao yapitia bwana utastahili utastahili unastahili na utabaki kuitwa yehova oh just lift up your voice and worship him tonight just lift up your voice and worship him tonight is the king of the kings is the lord of the lords there shall be no one like you jesus hakuna mwingine atakaye kuwepo kama wewe oh shakaze kete 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 someone lift up your voice and worship him worship him worship him worship him worship him the glory mighty god you alone to be lifted up mighty god let your power come down tonight that as a minister let someone experience your power let someone experience your presence let someone experience a lifting let someone experience a shift let someone experience a different change upon their life in this tonight service let it to be a service of his own a service of a difference in their life a service of divine connection divine lifting let people have their destinies let people have their divine encounter in the mighty name of jesus father we worship you we give you all the glory we give you all the honor in jesus precious mighty name we do pray and believe amen tonight mighty god i lift up my voice and my heart my eyes i lift that unto you and i trust unto you that as i minister tonight may you use me as a vessel to be a blessing upon someone's life Someone that who is going through challenges in their marriage, in their business, in their career, in their ministry, financially, and career. Tonight, let your power encounter with their destinies to provoke every, dom every tormented destiny to come up again for their divine encounter of the lifting of another level in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, I want to thank you, mighty God, that you use me as a vessel to be a blessing upon someone's life. And open their heart that as I minister your word may find a place in their heart to fall in order to meet their needs in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, take over. Jesus, bless me with the power of the Holy Spirit tonight and take over in this service. In the few minutes that we're going to share, let your power be experienced in this service in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Someone shout amen. Shout amen if you believe that God's power is in this service hallelujah tonight i want to welcome everyone and each of you into this service believing that god is going to do something new over your life as i minister to you uh, as i minister to you a topic that which is entitled unfailing 
the breakthrough power of love and fading the breakthrough power of love. Amen. This is that encounter with the destiny. Encounter with the destiny. Amen. The month of December will open a new chapter to your destiny and it will be clear that God has manifested his power and the glory in our life. Amen. It is the grace. It is the grace that makes great. And the grace is transferable. Amen. I want to let you know that it's grace that makes great. Without greatness, where there is no greatness, there's no grace. Because the grace of God carries the power to bring out the greatness that which is in you. Amen. So, it is grace that makes great and the grace is transferable. You can carry a grace of someone that God has been in the specific place, either in the place of work, either in the comedy site, either in the ministry, or in the either in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the, in the business. That grace that that person carries. There are people who come under you. Maybe there's something that you are doing, but after a specific time, they see that they are doing better than you. But they forgot that they came and they were doing under you. And that's why they are prospering. That's why they are flying higher. But when they get out of you, they start struggling in their life. Amen. You crave for it to get it. You must crave for it to get it. There is nothing of the spirit you get casually. That you are going to get it casual. No! Everything of the spirit must be craved for it in order to be received. Amen. One time I craved what Egin carried and I got it. I craved what Copland and carries and I got it. Amen. I also craved for what Bishop David Oyedebo carried. And everywhere in minister, you hear people saying, Are you the son of David Oyedebo? I say, Yes, he's my spiritual father because I craved for the spirit that he carried. Amen. Hallelujah. There is particular request or frequency you come unto with God that everything begins to answer to you. And the frequency that you get to struggle, no matter how you pray, how you do things, nothing that we work over it. And tonight I pray for you that may you receive the same grace for working towards your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Someone shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah if you believe that tonight is your night of an encounter. There is no academic institution that will match the validity of the scripture in the transforming lives and making things happen. No matter you go to Harvard University or wherever, when you don't have the wisdom of God and the knowledge of God, you will remain struggling with your university degrees and your life will remain the same. Amen? Success without stress. That is not available at the Harvard Breakthrough without sweat. You can't find that at your or at Yare or Cambridge University. Amen. Don't try to negotiate God's instructions. It won't change. You can't take God to any court. If God said this is the way and you shall go to it. That's why when I minister, it doesn't matter how many people that I'm giving to this message. Because out of a multitude, it's only one or two that God wants to get that message. And tonight, you are the one that God has positioned for this message. So that it will change your life dramatically. And you will move to the next level in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I knew that carrying God and the interest of his kingdom will take anybody to any higher institution to any height that you want amen lord jesus thank you that we are waiting and looking up to you let your word come true today and let your name be glorified in the name of jesus christ so that as your people receive this word it will change their life supernaturally amen anyway supernaturally all supernatural breakthrough is my heritage every born again child of god is redeemed and the right of the world a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. A right to the world of darkness. Showing the way to go and the step to take for others. God must show you, my son, this is the way and shall go in it. That's why you see a number of pastors, they have opened churches and they're struggling. A number of people, because they saw a neighbor's open for a business, you, you want to open the same Mpesa business. You don't have the knowledge, you don't cut the grace. And then tomorrow you lose all the money. Praise the Lord. I pray that you will never lose a single coin 
in that business in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen? Hallelujah. Somebody is changing level tonight. No matter the matter that you are through over your life, you must have gone through those challenges to encounter your destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen? Supernatural breakthrough is our heritage in Christ. After we are born again, we have been rescued from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of the right. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 8. Every child of God is a right to his world. And as long as he walks in the right, he keeps commanding the supernatural breakthroughs. Naturally, we are naturally equally. But when we come to supernaturally, we will never be equally. Because God has ordained us differently according to your will. Amen. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. He says that, I will supply according to your will. According. Amen. It is according to. No, you know, when pastor cannot come and say, receive that miracle. Receive that nonsense. You must have the revelation of it. You must desire from your heart. Amen. Desire. Believe. And have faith. Then when the man of God speaks over it, it will already happen because you have already desired. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 and 2. The Bible says, what is faith? Faith is the substance that makes unseenable things to be seenable and unbelievable things to be believable. Until you see with your naked eyes and spiritual eyes, you start believing them. You know, the things of the spirit are just transformed and transfigured from the spiritual realm to the physical realm. You want a wife, you want a husband, you must first see the kind of husband you... You can't be saying that I need any man. Which man? You must be specific to the kind of man that you need in your life. Because every man, everybody who is wearing a trouser is a man. But now, which kind of a man that you need in your life is what determines your destiny. Whether it is going to die or to be fulfilled. Amen? Tonight, God will give you the spiritual eyes to see and to triumph in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight is your night of an encounter. You keep commanding supernatural breakthroughs naturally as you keep walking in the right. Amen? Only those who walk in the right of God that who are entitled for a supernatural being. Know that God is not doing miracles. Miracles are happening day and night. But the question is, are you set for it? Amen? Everybody will say, I need a husband. I need a wife. But are you set for that wife you need? Are you set for that partner you are looking for? Are you set for that job that you are looking for? Oh, Shaka Zantabashoa. Tonight, there is somebody changing level. Tonight, there is somebody moving to the next level. Tonight, there are miracles that are taking place wherever you are watching this service from. I pray for you that that same grace come upon your life. The grace that has never allowed me to struggle in any way will not allow you to struggle in the name of Jesus. Amen? So you belong to a winning family. You better connect. Don't just hang around. Get connected. If you put your church, you are your church up by the socket, it won't charge it. You plug it in. We don't stress to succeed. Amen. We walk in the right to command the breakthroughs. You put your, your phone on the charging, then you don't put on. And then you say, you wake up in the morning. Ah, what is this now? The devil is a liar. The phone was not. No. Don't blame the devil where it's not necessary. The necessity of praying. Pray yourself for forgetting to put your chacha on the prag and then putting on. Amen. You must put your spiritual rim on. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And the rest of other things that which you are looking for shall be added unto you. Matthew chapter 6 verse 3. Hallelujah. If you put your church there, make sure that it's connected. Also, you must be connected to God to receive what you want in life. It won't change it. You plug it in, then that's when you will receive. You don't stress to succeed by any means. If you walk in the right of the world, breakthroughs becomes your natural experience. People can see. Forget about the supernatural. You know, we have the natural and the super. But things will start working. Even the neighbors will see. We start talking. People 
how we start talking about you. This year, God is taking you to the next level where people will be talking of what God has done upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You are not struggling with it. It is a new day for you. It is a new dawn in your life. Amen. Also, it is important to me to mention before we get on today that every instruction is a form of examination. Every instruction is a form of examination. Amen. If you don't pass the exam in class, you can't change your class. Amen. That now because I was in form 3, or I was in the first year, or the second year, but my cluster does not allow me to move to the another year, then that one does not change the cluster. It remains the same. Amen. Hallelujah. So, when you hear this, it's be, to be done, operation by all means, and you say, what are they talking about? We say that you need to be found again. You need to be specific to what you want. And then you are saying, that what does that mean? I don't need to serve God. You're you just you are forgetting. I was teaching yesterday in our Sunday service about thanksgiving. Why you need to thank God? You are thanking God because of who He is. You are thanking God for what He has done today for you. You are thanking God for what He has been doing for you. And you are thanking God for what He's going to do for you. But now when one challenge comes, maybe you got out of that of your marriage, that business went down, that job went down, then you are crying, oh, God, you no. Just remember the good thing that he has done for you before. And just thank him for it. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18 and 20 says, Give thanks for everything. It doesn't not say that give thanks for specific things. But give thanks for everything that he has done for you. Amen? Hallelujah. It shall be permanent what the Lord has done for you. Amen? I mean, there are too many ways of doing this. You don't have to be on the street if you don't have the capacity to. Amen? Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Amen? If you disagree, you stay in the same class. So, it is another example for everyone who is registered in the universe that has to do to pass to the next level. If you fail for the first exam, you go to river, you graduate not until... That refer has been done and last written pass. Amen. Hey, you embrace it. Fair enough. This midst of all oh, this end of the year, not leave you behind, but let God move with you to the next year so that when you finish the year, because the end of the matter is better than the beginning. My God, we also. Your God will make your feet like a hind feet and get you up upon your high places. You will never be found on the streets, corners, anymore looking for jobs. But God shall provide for you that as you serve him. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's going to be a where some time in God's presence this December. That you are going to enjoy whatever that the sorrow the devil has brought in your life. Whatever cry that you have been crying, God is going to make it to be a new beginning. Let me tell you that basis for this, they all say to me, release all that I've disposed in you on the people that I've given you because they cannot walk in your steps except they carry what you carry. As I have given to you in the, in the same way I connected. Amen. You with the diversity grace upon those ahead of you, everyone I have given you that craves for the graves. That you may show you shall have the opportunity to connect with the flow at the year 2023 as we go to an end for your encounter. It is grace that makes grace, or it's grace that makes great, and the grace is the transferable. The Lord saying to me, All that I have put into you through your various connectivity, pass it to them. As many as crave for it will get right now. Receive the grace of God to move to the next level in the name of Jesus. Grace to get a job. Grace for your promotion. Grace for your partner. Grace for your new beginning. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There is nothing of the spirit you get casually. I crave for what Bishop David Oyedebo carried. And I got it. I crave to what Copeland carried. And I got it. It is grace. 
without thirst, you don't have any access. Every spiritual engrossment comes through a task. You must have task for what you need in life. You must have task for what you need in life. Every spiritual engrossment comes through a task. A genuine task, no matter your past and your part in the kingdom, you need the passion. It is also part of it. So come prepared. We shall be having a miracle teaching over this week as I prepare. I'm just preparing the way. I'm preparing the way of this topic of understanding the miracle power of love. Amen. Tonight we're just preparing the basic, the basic, so that as we get tomorrow, as we get tomorrow, because by nine I should be true. As we get tomorrow to hit, you shall be having, because today is part one. Tomorrow we're going to part two. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody's changing level. It is also part of it, as I said, that you must be prepared. Amen. So every of your hanging inheritance in Christ shall be raised back to you, and your destiny will be restored back to dignity and color in the name of Jesus. No one will be in that service without something to return back with. Over throughout this month of December, we shall be talking about that topic. The same way I am flowing in the higher grace today. I was telling people that I'm 40 years and people were saying that you're not at 40 years. Not because of that I hate you well. Not that because I do the, 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 the exercise. No, because I live in him and he lives in me. And that is Christ. Amen. I've never been in any hospital being bedridden for medication. I've never been. No. I've traveled over 30 countries. I've never paid for a air ticket even once. I've moved across Kenya, preaching the Kenya and East Africa, Tanzania, Uganda. I've never paid for my single coin to go there because God pays for me. He commands people to do the same. Second Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 9. He said that God makes people to be the blessing to you. But before you, God corrects people to be a blessing to you, you must position yourself. Amen. I've said this around that I was born as a last born in the family. And you know, when I talk about the story of David, David was the last born. And when in that family of Jesse, there's somebody that was to be anointed to be a king. They started from the first one. And they say, where is another one? Because when they opened the hoy in first, uh, Samuel chapter 14, verse 13 to 15, the hoy was not coming out. They tried the another second born, the third born, the fifth born. They said, they are over. And they said, there is no one. And someone said, there's no one. That he remembers, oh, there's a young boy who is in the field grazing the cow. Go and bring him. And when David came, when they were, they, they, before even they poured the hole to him, as they were opening, David became the anointed of God. And his life changed. Tonight, as the oil of God comes upon you, may your life change supernaturally. Amen. May your life change supernaturally. Amen. I don't know if your, my network is not working. Please, can you type down there and tell me if you are getting me or my network has challenges. Please do the same immediately because I may preach for myself. Please, if the, my network, you can hear me, type down there. Type down there because this is a message that needs to reach more people. If my network is working, please type down there and tell me that you can hear me. And if not, I will change another network. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray for you today that someone is changing level. Someone is changing level. Someone is changing level. Amen. Amen. I can't see someone typing here if the network is working, guys. I'm an Aubiri Kingereza at Usiki to Kiswahiri because I might be preaching for myself. Amen. Hallelujah. I know the reason why. Wakatulianza Kubiri. Eh, najua tulikuwa watu wengi kwa sababu nilikuwa na ubiri Kiswahili. Na wakati tulianza kubadilisha kwa Kiswahili kwa Kiingereza lazima watu wangepungua na sababu ya kwamba nafanya hivyo kwa sababu hiyo ujumbe watu wengi ambao wanaiangalia tukifanya research katika YouTube, Facebook ni watu ambao wako mataifa nje wale ambao nimeweza eh, 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 kuwa nami. Na inabidi sasa tuweze kutumia lugha ambao wanaweza kuielewa. Kwa hivyo 
nasema hivi kama hamunipati hapo muniambie una type tu pale chini au unazungumza hapo ndio niweze kupata kama network inasumbua ama tunapata na kwa sababu ni muhimu uweze kupata ile tunaita msingi tunafanya foundation tunatayarisha msingi ambao tunaenda kusungumzia kuhusu hii mada ya kuelewa wa upendo uelewa wa upendo lakini kabla tufike pale lazima tutengeze msingi yani tutengeze foundation ili tunapoingia katika wiki nzima tuwe tumefanya msingi ambapo wengi wataweza kufahuru ku, ku, ku wengi wataweza ku, ku, kuweza kufahamu ambapo wengi atuelewi aina za upendo tulizo nazo upendo wa Mungu upendo wa binadamu upendo ni nyingi tu amen haleluya sambo shaura haleluya if you believe that god has blessed you shaura haleluya So no one will be in in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the, this week service and then remain the same the same way God has commanded us that this year we shall end rejoicefully nobody that shall die in your family amen that you shall end this year well amen so God does things on its own way from this time onward You won't struggle where there's no struggle anymore. As you get on key with God's secrets of supernatural breakthroughs, he shall begin to answer to you supernaturally. No matter setbacks in your life anymore. You know, there are people that want to bring you down. They want to remind you the life that you were living before. They want to remind you the struggle that you have been going through. Amen. Don't allow them to come and uh, 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 and start taking you backward. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Allow me to change this network. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you all the honor. I don't know kama itawatupa bus. We give you all the glory. There is no one like you Jesus. Oh we honor you we honor you we honor you we glorify your name we glorify your name somebody just worship him somebody 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 worship him tonight give him all the praise please we can tap tap We can tap tap. Alafu mimi nawauliza kama network iko sawa muniambi katika simu na utumia pale haionyeshi jameni. Atuko pamoja kwa kujibu hata kwa ujumbe hata kusema kwa kwamba tupatane. Janet, sababu pia unasikia na, nikihubiri unanipata lakini kwa network atupatane atu pale. But I believe that God is doing something new. I want only to make someone only one person half then you would bring the rest. God bless you tonight. God bless you tonight. There's something that God is preparing for you. Please, there's something that God is preparing for you. There is something God is preparing for you, and I know that is bringing a new beginning. God is bringing a new beginning for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. At tonight, there is something that's more that which I want us to go through as we wind up this service. I say that we 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 are not going to be here for long, but I, I want us to go through something uh of the same topic that which I've already spoken. Uh, amen 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 let's stop the screen please because of the stability of that network let's stop that that's uh, the screen because of the stability of that network oh hallelujah tumwambie bwana asante oh inua mikono seme asante oh inua mikono useme bwana oh inua mikono useme ni bwana Oh inua mikono seme ni bwana Oh inua mikono seme ni bwana Lakini Janet ndio unajibu sasa hizi network inasumbua nilikuwa nawauliza msemi mimi natumia simu nyingine hapa so inanionyesha Unaona Usiposema mimi sitajua Amen Oh semeni bwana oh inua mikono semeni bwana oh inua mikono yako semeni bwana oh inua mikono semeni bwana oh inua mikono yako semeni 
Wanda. Oh, no, no. Somebody just lift up your voice and worship him. Lift up your voice and worship God. Lift up your voice and worship him. Lift up your voice and worship him. God is here tonight to bless you. Lift up of your voice and worship him. God is here to hear your prayer. Wenda ikawa kuna siri ambao nao ya majozi, lakini pipia na niambia kwamba, wale ambao uomba kwa siri ataweza kuwajibu kwa wazi kwa maana, mungu anajua chenyo napitia. Mungu anajua mambo ambao nao yapitia. Anajua maombi yako. Anajua chenye shetani amekupitisha. Lakini pipi nasema ya kwamba Mungu anaenda kusungumza na kuyafanya kutimiza maombi yako kwa wazi hata wale ambao wako anajua maombi ulikuwa unaombea wataweza kuyajua kwa we, kwa njia ambao Mungu ataenda kuionesha kwa wazi. Na jioni ya leo unaweza kutangaza katika maisha yako. Wacha Mungu akachibu maombi yako. Wacha Mungu akafungue njia zako. Wacha Mungu akakuinue Mungu akayajua na akakupanguza yale majozi, majozi ya zira, majozi ya kugandamizwa, majozi ya kufukuzwa, majozi ya kukosa kazi, makosi ya kukosa ndoa. Mungu akakupanguze jioni ya leo, Mungu akakufungulie njia, Mungu akafanye penya pana njia kuweze kuwa na njia. Mungu akakuinue kwa jina la Yesu na tangaza kwa jioni ya leo yoyote ambaye anayepitia magumu yoyote anayepitia maisha magumu ambaye Mungu anajua unapitia nini maisha magumu katika jamii maisha magumu katika biashara zako maisha magumu katika ajira yako Mungu akasungumze nawe jioni ya leo Mungu akanene na wewe nguvu za Mungu sikashuke kila matabau iliyochengwa katika maisha yako matabau ya kushindwa ikapomolewe matabau ya kufail ikashindwe katika jina la Yesu Mungu akafanye njia mpya Mungu akakufanye upya Mungu akakunawishe Mungu akakunawirishe akakufanya ukaonekane walio kudharau wakati kushangilia na wewe walio sema hautaweza wakuche kushudia kwa jina la Yesu oh shakazete bosh mazante kosh rekosha santaba natangaza mbingu sikafunguke waliopoteza nyota za biashara zao sikaregeshwe waliopoteza nyota za ndoa zao sikaregeshwe waliopoteza nyota za kazi zao sikaregeshwe yoyote aliyepoteza nyota yoyote jioni ya leo nasimama kama mtumishi wa Mungu natangaza ukapokee hiyo nyota kaipokee hiyo nyota nyota ya ndoa ipokee nyota biashara yako kaipokee nyota ya chochote ulichopoteza Mungu akakuregeshee kwa jina la Yesu kwanza sasa natangaza wengi wanaopitia mambo magumu katika familia yenu katika jamii magonjwa na vivo katika jina la Yesu vikashindwe wanaopitia mashindano magumu ya kijamii na kifamilia kwanza sasa hivi natangaza nguvu za Mungu na neno la Bwana likatembee yakashindwe kwa jina la Yesu ukapokea mwanzo mpya ukapokea kuinuliwa mpya ukapokea kukombolewa ukapokea uponyaji Santa ba sheke teke 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 te raka zente bush raka zete kete roka zata ba rasha kazete bush moto kawake moto wa mwanzo mpya kwa jina la Yesu amen Wacha tumalizie ibada yetu mara pale ambapo nilikuwa nasema we are on this evening on the teaching series of the month in our evening service is captioned and feeling the breakthrough power of love whereby we have seen that love is what that makes your prayers and your connectivity to God to start working and we have seen a number of things that grace it's what that makes you great without grace you cannot be great that's one thing that which you have seen amen because i don't want to go further and this we shall be looking at tomorrow but and on, that, on the same when you look at the book of first corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 they are record breakers lovers of god are ordained as pathfinders they are the best of for others to follow amen 
Hallelujah. They are set pace for others to follow. They are trapperizers. Amen. They are trapperizers. You can't ignore them in their field. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8 and 9. God's ways are superior to any other platform under heaven. There is no academic institution that will match the validity of scriptures, as I said before, because in transforming lives and making things happen, when Joseph came down with the ways of God, Pharaoh said, there is no one as a wise as you are that will set over this business. God's ways are higher than our ways. Amen. They may appear weak, but they are ever in command. God's ways are ever in command of the affairs of life. Amen. Amen. God's ways are in the affairs of the command of God. Then what's love? Love. What is in that? I will tell you what is in it. It turns an ordinary person into a pathfinder, a pace setter. A trebotizer, a genuine law for God will transform any dummy to command dominion. Genuine law for God with proofs, proof and love for God. Please get ready because we are traveling this way that is above ever than any other way. A young man can ask, Why do we need the love of God? But when the love of God is there, every negative powers that come to bring you down will not be in a position because i don't want to go to that topic but one thing that i want to tell you that as we are going to look at this topic onwards we are going to learn a number of things on how your life can transform be transformed how your life can change to the next level how your life can cut fire for prosperity for success and for lifting because of that, I want to pray for someone believing that this week shall be the best week ever for you. You are here, you are not born again. You are here, you are not born again. This is an opportunity to receive Jesus as the Lord and Savior over your life. Because when you are not born again, the devil will torment you, we pity you, we do all manner of things unto you. You are here, you are not born again. This is an opportunity to receive Jesus as the Lord and Savior. I cannot wind this service without giving you an opportunity to receive Jesus. You are not doing a favor to Jesus to receive him. Jesus is doing favor for you in order to receive him. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. You are here in this service. You are not born again. I want you to pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I cannot help myself, but I come unto you tonight so that you may forgive my sins. Satan, from tonight, I have no business with you. I believe that Jesus died in the cross of Calvary so that I may be justified. I may be redeemed. I may be forgiven my sins. I may be healed of my sickness. I may be taken out of my poverty. And tonight, I receive you, Jesus, to purify my life. I believe that I'm born again. From tonight, I'm a new creature. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I do pray and believe. If you have prayed that prayer, say amen. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your children and whom have received you tonight. May you forgive their sins. Forgive their sins. Forgive their sins. I pray that tonight may you cover them with the blood so that they may be protected from the hand of the devil. I call upon the power of the Holy Ghost upon their life for to cover them, to take them out of the sickness, to take them out of their, their failure. In the name of Jesus, from tonight, their life will never be the same again. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we do pray and believe. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Tonight, I want to congratulate you if you have taken that step, that God is here and we deliver you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, we have come to an end of this service, but if you have your offering that you want to give, you can give to our number that which is in the bio there, or m number that is in the bio there. That is 0726-996-302. If you want to, you can't miss that number there. But I want to pray for your offering as you're going to give God to bless your Father in the name of Jesus. I pray for that offering that may you bless it. That those who are giving, lift them and give them hundred times fall in the name of Jesus. They may never lack. In the name of Jesus, take out every sickness out of their life, every struggle. Those who are looking for partners, may you locate them. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless you. God bless your finances. God bless the work of your hands. God bless you. 
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless you, and you I lift it. Amen. Let me make some few announcements. Please, keep on joining us in our evening service from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And also, don't miss to join us every Sunday from 9 a.m. in our service. And also, you can get this service. Maybe you came late. You will find it at Romy TV Africa. I normally tell you to go and like, subscribe, but you don't go there on YouTube channel. Please, just go there. Support this YouTube channel at Romy TV Africa. Like, subscribe, and follow us. And tell us where you're watching us from. And you will find this service there. And God bless you. God lift you. God answer you. And God take you to the next level. In the name of Jesus, whatever that you have never done before, whatever you have never experienced before, God will give you grace to experience. God will take you to the higher places. God will take you to where you have never been before. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your family. I pray for your business. I pray for your career. Whatever is the struggle over your life, God is going to change it and is going to take you to the next level. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Like now, I pray for you. That as you get out of this service, your life will never be the same again. I command every satanic affliction in your life to get out of your life. In the name of Jesus. Those who are trusting God for a job, receive your miracle job. Those who are trusting God for a partner, receive your miracle partner. Those who are trusting God for a financial breakthrough, receive your financial breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Those who are trusting God for a supernatural healing. Right now, receive your supernatural healing in the name of Jesus. Whatever that you are trusting God for tonight, receive it. Receive it now. Every word of Jericho in your life, of stagnation, of failure, of marital stagnation, whatever the reason that has been an obstacle over your life, right now be broken and get out of that stagnation in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are blessed. And your family is blessed. Your business is blessed. Your finances is blessed. Your career is blessed. In Jesus' precious my name. God loves you. God loves you and I love you. And there's nothing that you can do about it. Go and receive your miracle tonight. Come with this money. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And surely, God's goodness and mercy for us on the days of our lives. And we shall do in the presence of the Lord now and forevermore. See you. And God bless you. Amen. Shalom.